As Pfizer's vaccine moves closer to rolling out, concerns remain about the allergic reactions suffered by two UK healthcare workers. Tonight, we're learning more about those women, their allergies, and what this could mean for others with serious allergies. Is the Pfizer vaccine safe for people with allergies? It was a key question raised during yesterday's meeting of the FDA's Vaccine Advisory Committee. There are tens of millions of people in this country who carry EpiPens with them because they have peanut allergies, because they have egg allergies, who are going to believe now that they can't get this vaccine. That's a lot of people. The UK reactions are still being investigated, but Pfizer's head of safety revealed the women are 40 and 49 years old. One has a history of anaphylaxis with severe food allergies, including allergies to eggs, cheesecake and lemon. She reacted a few minutes after getting the vaccine and required an injection of epinephrine. She has fully recovered. The other worker has a history of drug allergies. She suffered shortness of breath and also required epinephrine. She too has fully recovered. Pfizer's vaccine does not contain eggs or preservatives, two ingredients most often linked to vaccine reactions. Dr. Anthony Fauci addressed the concerns this afternoon. Safety considerations go well beyond the clinical trial. There's observation of potential adverse events you know, well into the implementation of the vaccine distribution. He said people with serious allergies will need to be more cautious about where they get the vaccine. Now that we got this heads up, what you do is what you do with everything in clinical medicine. You stay alert for it and you keep a situation so that if it happens again, that people are in a facility that can take care of them. I don't think it should mitigate against people getting vaccinated because we don't know the extent. Well, the FDA and Pfizer are working with regulators in the UK to learn more about what may have triggered these reactions. It's not yet known if the vaccine will carry a warning for people with serious allergies here in this country, at least temporarily.